Alright. Alright, time to feed these hungry Steam Deck fans. <laughs> they don't take no nonsense. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so Cyberpunk is on the Steam's top te top seller list. Hmm. And there's a Cyberpunk sequel being being worked on. Oh yeah, Steam Deck 2 will be looking good. <laughs> when that claim, when that game comes out. Anyway, what I got for you little Steam Deck fans, you know, you know the Steam Deck tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion was good. Steam Deck Mob was happening, Steam Deck Squad was up. And you Steam Deck nerds, geeks, and freaks, and you investigators, what's happening? All right, what, what, what do I have for you people? You little Steam Deck fans, what do we have, what do we have, what do we, what do we have? All right, what do we got? All right, let's see. Okay, we talked about that yesterday. Ubuntu Summit. All right, all right. Let's see here. Um, See, old school immersive sim core decay looks great in new trailer. Hmm. Now this looks exciting. Taking ins inspiration from the likes of Deus Ex, the old school at atmospheric immersive core sim core decay. New trailer. Realms Deep 2023. Alright. What we got? Keep these little Steam Deck fans up to date here. Alright. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Coming from Ivar Hills, uh, spill, slip, slip gate ironworks in 3D realms. Last I heard of it, will have native Linux support too. More about it this year. More, more about it the year 2089. For decades past, the availability of natural resources and livable condition has declined to the point of societal collapse. Nations have made room for society, state, and corporations, and the planet is on the brink of ecological collapse that will leave nothing that will leave nothing left alive. Okay, during mankind's last breath arise the shadowy networks of co conspirators bent on saving the human species using any means necessary, even if it means sacrificing all it means to be alive. <laughs> Following the trails of mysterious organizations across the dying earth in an atmospheric single player adventure spanning seven locations across six continents. And this is Core Decay, Rem Realms Deep 2023. Alright. Yeah, Linux, Linux gamers are spoiled. Anyway, and Steam Deck, Steam Deck fans are spoiled. Anyway, alright. Now, what I got? what else I got for you? What else I got for you little Steam Deck fans? Always getting spoiled. You and your deals, you and your games, and you and your updates. Alright, what else I got for you? What's the next what's next on the list? Creature Okay, what's this one? Creature Creature Growing Survival Game Sip Sipho 1.0 is out now. Climb the top of the food chain and sip Sippo, a game about building up a creature with zoids <laughs> after being in early access since late 2018. It's finally done and it hits the 1.0 release. It's features native Linux, native Linux support too, inspired by real life zoids, a complicated creature that forms up parts of a colony of Sippo, takes the idea and blends it into a roguelike underwater survival of the fittest. <laughs> and says you're starting off small, you gradually grow and build up your creatures with various zoids, each of them specializing in a different function. Some eat food, some help you move, some are for offensive moves and more. Naturally there are plenty of hazards to be found and there are always bigger fish. <laughs> and this game is called Zoid. Let's see here. Creature customization. Choose your own playstyle. Create your own ultimate monster monstrosity monstrosity by combining different body parts, each with unique function functions. The further you progress, the more the options you unlock. The more power you get. Choose your playing style. Unlock six different species throughout the game and discover 
the one that fits your play style, mix and match parts, different species to create the ultimate monstrosity. Sandbox, unleash your creativity in the aquarium, aquarium game mode. Infinite worlds, deep dive deep into various undiscovered places without the need to look back, look back or backtrack. Battle cunning bosses, environments, replayability, new games plus. Oh yeah. What game is this again? And this is Sip Sipo 1.0 out now. Alright. You little Steam Deck fans are getting spoiled. Alright. What else what I got for you? Let's see here. Okay, Metroidvania Action Platformer Time Spinner 2 on Woven Dreams announced. <laughs> it's for you Metroid lovers. Yeah, Met Metroid need to be in the form of Anthem. When they keep it side scrolling, it's like, uh, nah, it's no good. Okay, Lunar Lunar Ray Games are making a sequel to their positively reviewed Time Spinner from 2018. Time Spinner 2, Unwoven Dreams now on the way, and it looks great. Our contributors, BTRE, gave some thoughts on the original, and enjoy it. When is this game coming out? Let's see here. What does it say? Uh, it says, uh, Uria, a retired war hero, awakened in ominous strings of ca catastrophic unwoven dreams. Amidst the turmoil, her son runs away to prove that he is destined hero who can forestall the impending collapse of reality driven by a mother, uh, driven by a mother's love. <laughs> Uria embarks on a quest to safeguard her son, only to unveil the undeniable truth behind the prophecies and her pivotal role in staving off a reversible cataclysm. Alright. Time Spinners 2. Alright. What else we got? For the Steam for you Linux gamers. What's this one? Okay. Uh, then here's this one. Uh, let's see. Okay. Time Spinners 2. And there's the the explosive Ion Fury Aftershock expansion is available. Void Point and 3D Realms have now released the explosive Ion Fury Aftershock expansion, giving you more of the good stuff from the original game to blast through as a Shelly bombshell. Harrison <laughs> says here yeah, the release came as a bit of a surprise, only being announced during the realm. Deep 2023 over the weekend to arrive yesterday, October 2nd, 3D Realms sent, sent over a key, so I've had a run through, and, it, and, it, and as expected, it works beautifully on Linux with their native Linux build. It is also a rated Steam Deck playable with Linux version 2, featuring a campaign over half the size of the original game, with no weapons, no enemies, no zones. A hover bike and even in a range mode. Aftershock. Alright. Ion's Fury Aftershock. Yep. And what else? Anything else? Let's see. It's on GOG. It's on Steam with a 10% discount. Discount until October 9th. And that's that. <laughs> yeah. Linux gamers and Steam Deck gamers have some games to play. Pick one. Alright, what's this one? Let's see. Superhero strategy game Capes has a big new demo up. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see here. <clears throat> it says here, Cape is an upcoming tactical strategy game from Spitfire Interactive and Day Daydelic Day Entertainment. Due out in 2024, a new demo has been put up with expanded improved mechanics to play through. A game where fans of XCOM will apparently feel right at home. I am certainly excited to see this in Cyber Knights <laughs> Flashpoint release. The story in the Cape follows on 20 years from where the supervillains won, creating a dystopian city 
where developing superpowers is a crime and no one has dared oppose them so naturally you're going to build a team of heroes and take back the city okay and this is called okay what is this game called again <laughs> did I get it right capes c-a-p-e-s okay the demo the, the, the new demo includes four mission along with the ability to fast forward gameplay during enemy turns a quick save point difficult settings improved cinematic and improved user interface improved gamepad support additional language support quite a bit upgrade for it all right that's capes for you give it a go mm. all right what else we got for you guys anything else on the list and then there's a puny human closing after a client refused previously to, puny human closing after a client refused previously agreed upon payment huh that's what this is talking about okay says here some some more sad industry news here as a developer puny human put out a press release noting that they are closing up citing an unnamed client that refused to pay them they're on track to remove all full-time position before the year is up while also liquidating any asset left by including selling them off and open sourcing certain others puny human create dystopia blade symphony and Gal gala side they also work with other developers on titles including Trover Saves the Universe, Wasteland 3, Bard's Tale, Tribes of Midgard, Callisto Protocol, and various others. In the press release, their CEO Mike Sanders noted how, unfortunately, a client refused previously agreed upon payment, which deprives us, deprives us of the cash flow to fully pitch our in-progress titles and triggered success, successive failures in our operating income. I take full responsibility. I take full responsibility for not sufficiently preparing for this outcome. Mm. The press release also notes they were looking to work on a spiritual successor to Dystopia, titled Zero Day, with the hopes to secure venture capital funding by quarter two of 2023. Shame to see there's been an increase amount of companies being shut. Are laying off a lot of staff, and it seems it's set to continue. Mm. Yeah, that's why you stay um in this game industry. You stay independent, you know. Stay under the radar, you know. And um, you know, you find um, find ways, you know, to to get funds to um, you know to stay in the industry, you know. Whether it's um, through DLCs, through expansion, through you know contributions, through uh, even getting a grant, <laughs> you know, from the government, you know, you know like you know, um, yeah, you, you got to try those, you know, those avenues, you know, and um, it says sometimes you know people don't people don't follow through on their you know promises, you know, so yeah. It happens in the game industry, and um, yeah, and um, you know, if you're part of that, if you're in that embracer group umbrella, yeah, I mean they're laying off people, you know. So in this game industry, you know, it's best it's best you stay independent, you know, stay with your little crew, you know, and um, try to find fun find a way, you know, to get you know to get out to get funds, you know. Just this, so you can stay, as, you know, survive this uh, gaming gaming industry. You know? <clears throat> like I told, like I said to the developers at our, sp of our split gate, don't go in a corporate office. You know, buy a warehouse and turn it into a studio. Save you some money. You know, <laughs> so yeah, and that's what you got to do. You know, <clears throat> like like if you gonna start a gaming studio, you know, um, yeah, you know, make sure you have like a nice big space to where you can create your games and 
still be able to pay your bills and stuff like that, yeah. But, you know, um, um, you always want to find ways to, like, get, try to get, uh, get funds, you know, to keep your, your, your ambitions and your drive for game design, because it could, you know, I mean, it takes time, <laughs> it takes a lot of time and effort to make a game, man, so, yeah, so, you know, yeah, should be rewarded for it. Yep, but anyway, that's what I got to report as far as the Steam Deck goes, or Linux Gaming goes, <laughs> yeah. That, that Embracer Group situation, man, a lot of, lot of, a lot of people lost their jobs, but, you know, lost their jobs. Sometimes when a company make an offer, you know, <laughs> you have the choice to ref accept it or don't accept it, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like when I see, like when I see, um, like when I see people on, like when they, when they're doing streaming and stuff, you know, <clears throat> and they're asking for funds and all that. It's how you go about asking for it, you know. If you're being rude and disrespectful and all that, then people are not going to pay attention to you one bit, you know. You, know? Um, <clears throat> you got to be, got to be, got to treat people with dignity and respect, you know. Especially, uh, especially when, you do, when you're doing this YouTube thing, you know. And, um, you know, uh, and, and keep moving. But other than that, yeah, the game industry moves on. Yeah. <laughs> so Valve Val, Valve hired a um uh, one of those mock hired a um I think a develop one of the, a developer that works that works on the mods for uh, Half Life Alex. So uh, they might be adding him to the development development team for Half Life Three. <laughs> Valve is up to something. So yeah. We'll see what they what, what they come out with when the, when the Steam Deck Two rolls around. Yeah, so we're sitting here patient and waiting. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, little Star Wars and Star Trek thing for Dark Side. Go, base.